Hi guys, it's me Melissa. Welcome back to my channel. Today's video is my very first ever Art Snacks box and here is the contents of the box. I did already open it so I do know what it is. I was very impatient and I couldn't wait. Um, next month for February's box I will definitely unbox live on camera so you guys can have my first reactions to everything. I was just very excited to get this that I already opened it. I'm sorry. Next, uh, next month will be a total surprise though. So First in the box is this little bookmark that you get and it tells you each item, the retail value, and what the item is. So a little description on the um, on it. And then it gives you information if you want to do the Art Snacks Challenge to use the um, Art Snacks Challenge hashtag on social media with only the items you get in your box, which I will be doing at the end of this video. So if you want to see me do a speed drawing using only the items here, stay tuned towards the end of the video and I'll include that in this. So let's see, the first thing that was popped out at me when I opened up the box is this crank. It's paint, pure paint pigment. Um, there is no color, that's I think the only downfall of this. I haven't used it yet so I don't know what, it, what it's like, but it's pure paint pigment. Um, I'm assuming it's the green um, of the label. So like this emerald green, it could be more of a forest green, I'm not sure. It doesn't have a name. So I thought this was cool because it has this like cushion, this little cushion brush applicator thing, which I thought was neat. And it smells really strong. I could smell it just from opening it right here. Um, so I'm very excited to try that and I will be testing this out towards the end of the video so you guys can see what it looks like and how it, how, um, it works on the paper. And then the next thing I got is this Wink of Luna brush. Uh, the packaging is really cute on this. The I got metallic black. I haven't opened this yet. Let me open it real quick. Get some scissors. Okay. And this is just a neat design to this pen. Let me see. Is it? Let me open it and see. Uh, hold on. Nope, don't know what's happening here. Push. There we go. Alright, so you have to push it, push it in. That says it right there. I should have read the directions, but I didn't. So you push it in, it clicks, and then you could pull it off. Um, so the ink, I'm assuming, is in this barrel here. It feels nice in my hand. It feels like any kind of paint style marker. So this is metallic black, so probably this color here. I'll use that in the drawing. I'm going to use all of this stuff in the drawing. Let's see. So you're going to shake it to use it so it's like a paint marker. Metallic ink. So it's metallic ink with a nylon brush. Okay, so that's that. So that's the second item that I got. So I bet those two are going to look really cool together. It also came with two stickers, the Art Snacks Pretzel Pencil. Um, another sticker that says Slap. Dum-dum. Uh, -dum. And then it came with this little package, which of course I opened. And what I was most excited about in this, I was really excited about this. Because I want to try this out. I don't want to taste it, no. I don't want to taste it, I want to try it. <laughs> no paint eating. This was what I was most excited about. It's a Faber-Castell mechanical pencil, and it's a 0.7 lead. It's the Polymatic pencil. And I was most excited about this because I've been trying to find a nice mechanical pencil. And let me see. This is the one that I've been using. Um, what is the name of this? It's a Pentel eraser. No, Pentel uh, 0.7 mechanical pencil. And I really like this, but my dog got a hold of it and chewed up chewed it and took out the eraser and so I was most excited about this one to try this one out to see if I like it better. So that and I should be telling you guys the retail price on all of this stuff. So it says that this crank ink was retails for $15. This wink of Luna pen retails for $9. The Faber Castell mechanical pencil is $8.49. And then the last one we have 
uh, is a permanent Le Pen and it retails for $1.50 and I thought this one was pretty cool too. It's a permanent um, alcohol based pen and it's got a fine, if you can even see that, a really fine tip nib on it. Um, so yeah. This one is made in Japan. That one. This one is made in the USA. Let me see. I have no idea where this one's made. Let me check the label. Made in Japan for this Luna pen. And then the Faber Castell one is made in China. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to include the speed video now of something that I'm going to create right here in my sketchbook with all of these items. This package is a monthly subscription box. It's $20 a month if you live in the U.S. If you live outside the U.S., um, I'm not sure if the rate changes. You have to check on their website. Uh, but yeah, definitely excited about this. I can't wait for next month. And don't worry, next month I will do it all right off the bat. No impatientness. I promise I will do it. First reactions with you guys on film. So stay tuned. I'm going to include that video right now. If you guys get art snacks or you want to get art snacks, leave me some comments down below. Tell me what you think of the subscription or what you're looking forward to it. If you get the subscription and if you do, guys do the art snacks challenge every month on social media, leave me a comment. I would love to see what you guys are creating also. All right, guys, stay tuned. Thanks for watching. Bye, guys. Okay guys, here is my finished drawing with the Art Snacks materials I got in this January's box. Um, I do want to give you guys a heads up on this paint pigment here. Um, this is so much fun to use. I love this. This is great. I will definitely try to find more of these. I want every color that they have. This was awesome. The only thing that I want to warn you guys about is I did this scratch piece about 15 minutes ago and it is still extremely wet. Um, so I just want you guys to be aware of that. As you can see, it's still wet on my paper. Um, this was 15 minutes ago and it's still wet. The metallic Wink Luna pen dries almost instantly, which is this pen. Let me see. If, there we go. Which is this pen. Um, I don't like this pen. I'm going to be honest with you guys. Uh, there's not a lot of ink in here. I think that this just, this piece is filled with ink from what I can tell. It could go all the way back, but what I feel is like this is the only part with ink in it. Um, there was this little black ring on the inside that I had to take off that I didn't know when I first opened it. Let me open this. Hold on a second. I could show you guys. This ring was right here and it was preventing me from being able to get the ink out. The ink is, it's pretty, but the pen, the pen I think lacks, um, it bubbles quite a bit here and builds up a lot of bubbles around the tip so it's not easy to use um, and it's not such a great payoff metallic wise that I would be like oh you know 
I'm gonna go out and buy these um, because for the same metallic look, let me see if you can see that. It's right here. Let me show you why I don't like this. I have, let me see, this is silver. Let me get my black one real quick so you guys can see metallic black. So this is supposed to be metallic black on this pen. I have a Crayola metallic marker in black and I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna do it right next. So this is the Luna and here's the, here's the Crayola. So to me, they're almost identical um, and this is much more controllable than this. I just didn't like it. Um, will I use it? Yeah, of course. I'll definitely get use out of it. Would I buy more of them? No, not really. This was cool. I tested it out real quick with an eraser. This dries instantly. Um, I went to see if it would smear with an eraser. No smear whatsoever. It definitely is permanent. And for $1.50, if these retail for $1.50, I would definitely pick more of these up. The um, construction of the pen is a little bit wobbly, like you can feel things shaking around. But during use, it was fine. Had no problems whatsoever with it. So yeah, this is a great little tool. I like it. Um, my favorites out of the whole thing is the mechanical pencil and the crank. So the Faber-Castell pencil, definitely recommend this, guys. This was awesome. And it's so soft. It's um, kind of like a soft, I don't know, like jelly kind of feel to it. I don't know. It's really soft. It's nice. Kind of like velvet maybe. I don't know. So these two, big hit. Worth the box. Recommend the box. If you guys do this month's Art Snacks Challenge, leave me a comment. I really want to check out your work. Um, and I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to post this picture and my challenge on Instagram. Thanks for watching guys. And if you haven't, subscribe for more art videos. I will post next month's box uh, when I get it next month. Thanks for watching guys. Bye.